Well, you know, I, I want to credit our, our team and, and really our staff, um, you know, being in Portland for five or six days, traveling there, coming back, uh, playing three really tough games in four days, uh, still playing without Adam Kunkel. You know, you really don't know what to expect. You know, we only had really about a day and a half to prepare. But I thought we did a great job of being ready for the game, uh, preparing for uh, a dangerous team, especially from the three-point line. And especially in the first 20 minutes, you know, I thought our defense was just above where it's been. Regardless of the score and who we were playing, you know, playing with effort, playing you know, hard effort. And big guys were helping the smaller guys. And we really, they had a hard time getting open threes. It wasn't that they were off. We, we really smothered the three-point line. And that was really great to see. Coming out after halftime, challenged our guys to be better in the first four minutes of the second half. That's... That's plagued us this year. And again, I thought same group came out, did a great job. First four minutes of the second half, that's the best beginning of a half we've had. Um, and then, you know, you want perfection, but, you know, they did score 44 points in the second half. I'd say from about the 12 minute mark to the zero to the end of the game, we just, we, we weren't at that same intensity level. And, and look, that's what we're trying to get to. You know, you, you can't turn it off. You just, you have to play to the buzzer. You, you need sustained effort. And we talked a little bit about that uh, in the locker room. Um, but other than that, uh, I, I thought Kobe Jones was uh, really good. I thought defensively, you know, him guarding uh, number 11, Anderson, uh, for most of the game, he did a great job guarding a very difficult player, a guy who could really drive the ball. And, uh, and Kobe had seven assists. You know, you take for granted as a, as a wing how well he passes. I, I thought he was really on it here tonight. Uh, credit Zach Fremantle for, uh, you know, getting to 1,000 points. That's a, that's a great, you know, landmark for any player. And it's great to see him do that as well. Sean, you, you went with a different starting lineup tonight. I'm curious, is that is that because of the way they play and maybe you didn't like the, the two big man look? What was the, the thinking behind? Yeah, we, we wanted to get off to a great start defensively, um, especially guarding their three-point shooting. You know, they're, that's the one stat. You know, I watched them against Colorado State. I watched them against Wyoming. Two really difficult places to play. And uh, they took Colorado State to the final minutes and they beat Wyoming. And they did it because of, of how well they shot the three-point shot. So, you know, that was our thinking. Um, you know, Zach didn't start, came right in, and I thought did a, did a good job uh, when he was in there. We started him in the second half. And, uh, and again, that sixth, you know, segment there, the first four minutes of the second half, I thought he and our team came out of, of the halftime locker room and did a good job. Sean, did playing in three high-level games in Portland slow the game down for Desmond Claude, in your opinion? Where we've seen the most pr progress with Des is on defense, which is great to see. You know, he's bigger. It's tough to just drive and score over him. And he's, he gives us a different look when he's out there defensively, and he's getting better. He's improving. And, uh, and you know, I, I think he's more comfortable shooting as well. Uh, Clearly, just we're still in that first month of his career. I mean, it's it's such a disadvantage for all the freshmen until maybe around Christmas. So, uh, but I thought Cam Craft and Des Claude both did a very good job in tonight's game. It's great to see Cam come in and, and shoot the ball and, and get in the game. But you know, Cam like Des, bigger, bigger wings, and and I think that size sometimes can really affect defense. You see with Colby. Kobe's not as easy to score over. And, uh, you know, I really like that about Dez and Cam. So we're, we're anxious to develop them and get, it, get both of them in the game. Coach Jerome gave you guys nine points off the bench tonight. I know he's kind of had a little bit of an up and down season. Can you talk about the punch he gave you guys? Yeah, you know, Jerome, after our season opener, you know, he was really like the storyline of, of a lot of things because uh, he embraced his role. And he did a, a great job against Morgan State. Rebound, energy. Sometimes it just feels different when he's in there. And then for whatever reason, you know, he, he maybe lost a little confidence, didn't play as well, and had a dip for sure. And, uh, and that hurts our team. Like, we, we need depth. We need 
Jerome and anybody off the bench to just continue to develop. But in the last game in Portland against Gonzaga, Jerome really came in the game and, again, gave us a big shot in the arm. Uh, I felt like he, he reestablished his confidence. And uh, he had it again tonight. But when he comes in the game and plays with that energy, you know, we're, we're just a better team. And, you know, it's up to us as a coaching staff to just keep him in that mode and, and bring that out in him. Because uh, I do think that when he plays like that, he's really a valuable player for us. Makes us quicker, offensive, defensive rebounder. On the perimeter, he's quicker. And uh, we could certainly use that moving forward. But he, he, he did a good job tonight as well. You're right. Sean, to your earlier point about wanting to play to play 40 minutes, essentially, how important is it not to play to the score, but really play hard uh, and not, not re irregardless of the score, play hard? I think it's one of the hardest things to develop as a coach. I mean, we're not the only program or coach of a team that's trying to develop that early in the season. Sometimes it's because you have an influx of younger players or you know, your roster changed quite a bit from one season to the next. But man, I tell you, you have to be able to do it. To win the games that we're trying to win and to be the team that I think we can be, you, you can't compromise. You know, you have the effort, and then you don't have it. You know, you, four minutes, you're playing like, you know, your, your hair's on fire. And then the next four minutes, just what happened? Or you, or you sub. And because we subbed, we, don't, we aren't able to keep our level up. Um, we talked a lot about that tonight. Again, as, as happy as I am with a lot of things, and we are about tonight's game, you can't really say we played for that 40 minutes. We, we just couldn't quite do it. But for a lot of the game, I thought that was our best defensive effort. One final question. Coach, what are you looking forward to about coaching against Bob Huggins? Well, I mean, anytime you coach against his team, uh, number two things, playing against a team that is just incredibly hard playing. They usually are that team that plays with unreal effort for 40 minutes. And uh, you have to be able to rebound. You know, playing with unreal effort, have to be able to rebound. And I think that maybe this team in particular that he has, they can really turn you over with their pressure. So, you know, for us to, to be successful, we got to be able to handle their pressure. We have to play hard ourselves for 40 minutes, and we have to be able to rebound. And uh, those are things we've talked a lot about. But, you know, it's also a great opportunity. You know, a game on a weekend against a Big 12 opponent, Hall of Fame coach, program we really respect. And, uh, and then on our end, we've played some really tough games. So when you play those games, I, I think sometimes you get hardened yourself. And, uh, but we have to be ready and really looking forward to the Centos Center to be as electric as, as it can possibly be. We're, we're going to need a great crowd. We're going to need to be at our best because uh, you know, usually those types of teams that he coaches, they don't beat themselves. You have to beat them.